But I've been here 10 years, and look, all you got to do is walk outside. It's much worse now than it was 10 years ago. If I just count the tents that I see in the morning riding from El Cerrito to Oakland to go to work, there's hundreds of them. Those did not exist 10 years ago. We are in a crisis. This is not a theoretical problem. This is not some hypothetical issue we're talking about. We have tens of thousands of people who have nowhere to live, and we have millions of people experiencing real deprivation because housing is taking up a, a half of their income, as we heard earlier from some of the speakers. My reservations, I, I frankly think the least of it is the details contained in the compact. I think the real issue, and as much as, you know, in some ways we talk about this is we're the deciders, we're not the deciders, we are the recommenders. And this is going to go to a legislature that is going to appreciate our feedback or input but if any of them feel bound by it, I'll be shocked. I think what our real role here is to create and help create a crisis for the state legislature. The fact that we're handing this off to the state legislature by definition means the problem is bigger than us. We can't solve the problem. The problem was not created by the region and it cannot be solved by the region or any of its subordinate jurisdictions in any real way, and to think otherwise is, I, I think, just fantasy. Look, my view is, you know, the housing situation in California is a massive public policy failure. And so all of this comment about we need more quote unquote democracy, that's what produced this problem. And saying we need years more of this is going to make it more intractable, not less intractable, because every day there are more people in tents. And so if we're going to get at this, I think the most important contribution here is that this was a regional process. Because the bigger the platform, the closer you're getting to be able to solve it. Every time we get down to a county or a municipality, we are getting further and further away from what's effective and what's actionable, in my opinion. And I think what I would hope we go forward with when we hand this off is that we all bear in mind that at the end of the day, this problem, if it's going to be fully dealt with, is a, it has to be done at the statewide level. Proposition 13, statewide issue. All sorts of you know, inputs here, statewide policy matters, and we are always trying to solve this with one arm tied behind our back if we're not operating at a statewide level. And I hope as we incorporate in this and the rollout, the implementation, and the execution that we're also mindful that we need to, you know, be on other regions, other counties to join the band because that will help us. If this is limited to the Bay Area, it's either it's easy for the Southern Californians to say, you know, okay, we really don't have skin in this game. I think the one, my biggest criticism is we should be more intentional and more explicit about part of the work is making the case to the rest of the state of California that was not part of this process, which was certainly good enough in my view and that we should think about how do we build out where we, the, the biggest thing is not that we need to go deeper into our 101 cities in the Bay Area, is how do we go wider to the 45 counties that aren't incorporated in this because that's how we'll ultimately solve this. So thank